And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Draco Venator, or Draco Venator, depending on your preference for that last part. This was a request from Morgan via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a neotheropod that lived in the early Jurassic in what is now South Africa, found in the Elliott Formation. And it was a medium-sized dinosaur, estimated to be up to 18 to 21 feet, or 5.5 to 6.5 meters long, and weighing 550 pounds, or 250 kilograms. Before Draco Venator was described, scientists knew from footprints that there were theropods found in its biozone, the area where it was found. It's possible that Draco Venator made the large theropod tracks that have been found. Although, as we know, it's really hard to tell what made a track. Yes. Unless that animal died right next to the track, and it's very clear that that's its footprint. Its foot is stuck in the track. Yeah. Be another way, I guess. Then it's hard to know for sure. Draco Venator looked similar to Dilophosaurus. It walked on two legs and it had a long tail. But it's different from Dilophosaurus based on details in the jaws and teeth. Its skull is estimated to be about 50 centimeters or nearly 20 inches long. Paleoart shows it having two crests on the top of its head, but those bones haven't been found. But skull bones that have been found are similar to Dilophosaurus, so that's why the art shows the crests. So if you're imagining Draco Venator, think about Dilophosaurus. Yes. Most of the way there. Yes. It also had lumps and bumps on its lower jaw, like Dilophosaurus, but smaller. It had long, slender lower jaws that gently curved and serrated teeth. And it had a narrow snout that tapered toward the tip, as well as a kink in its upper jaws. Oh, yeah. That's one of the key features of Dilophosaurus is there's like that little gap of tooth near the tip. Mm -hmm. For Draco Venador, its small snout is similar to Coelophysis rhodesiensis a.k.a. Megapnosaurus rhodesiensis, <laughs> but it had more compressed, blade-shaped, serrated teeth in the premaxilla, the very front of the jaw. The type species is Draco Venator regenti. The holotype is just a partial skull. The fossils were found by James Kitching and Regent Lucas Huma. So that's why you have the species name regenti after the regent? Yes. It's in honor of the Quote, late Regent Lucas Huma, Professor Kitching's long-term field assistant and friend, end quote. The fossils were found in sandstone. The genus name means dragon hunter. It refers to the dinosaur probably preying on prosauropods and being found in the foothills of the Drakensberg range. So maybe it's Dracovenator. My Dutch is not great. That means dragon's mountain in Dutch. I guess it depends how faithful to the Dutch you want to be in your pronunciation, too. Right. And I do not know Dutch, so I I could be way off there. We're just going with usually that root word for dragon. It goes with Draco in English. Mm. So Draco Vedidor was named by Adam Yates in 2005. There was a second specimen originally thought to be Syntarsis rhodesiensis that was found in 1981. It was a well-preserved snout. Yates found the snout that was referred to Syntarsis, though, might be a juvenile specimen of Draco Venador. And we talked about Syntarsis in episode 456. Now, Megapnosaurus, also in the past, sometimes Coelophysis. It's a long story, so I recommend you go back to that dinosaur of the day if you want to hear the whole story. That is a quick review, though. Megapnosaurus looked a lot like Coelophysis. It had a long tail, it walked on two legs, it had short arms and a long face. Anyway, The jaws of the snout were clamped shut. They got so compressed, the scientists that studied it in 1999 said that it wasn't worth attempting to separate the jaws. They also thought the specimen got so crushed that all the details in the jaws might have been lost anyway. Yates said Draco Venator had a, quote, mosaic of coelophysoid and advanced theropod characteristics, end quote. Draco Venator probably lived on a floodplain, and other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include a lot of sauropodomorphs like Massospondylus, Ornithischians, which now you know exactly what that is, thanks to (laughs) your explanation, Garrett. Uh, They include things like Lasutosaurus and the Coelophysid Megaptosaurus. Other animals that lived around the same time and place include Crocodilomorphs and Cynodonts. Well, I guess it's a good thing that they had multiple specimens of Draco Venator because that one sounded 
pretty hard to deal with with the jaws all smashed together. Yeah, so again, the holotype is a partial skull that was found in sandstone. And then there's a second specimen, the well-preserved snout that was originally thought to be syntarsis. Throw that baby in a CT scanner, see just how smashed up and ruined it really is. Mm. <laughs> For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 